Hello there guys and welcome. Today, I'd normally start with inside the server. However, I accidentally came to this and, well, that is a nine cat, yes. Um, now, I haven't looked at the options as I didn't want it to disappear, so I'm going to see if there is sound to it. However, we may just end up making it disappear. Okay, let's give it some music. Oh god, my mouse is going so laggy for some reason. Um, 20 and 20. As you know, we found that 20 was a bit too high last time, didn't we? So let's move it back down to 10. Yep, that. There's the 9 kit still. Doesn't look like there's any sound for it. However, there we go, guys. There is a 9 cat there. Oh well. Let's get. I thought the 9 cat was a bit special. So I thought that was a good place to start. And also, I realised I had enough gold for what I wanted to do this episode. There you go. Six pieces of gold is all we need. So, as you can see, I did some mining. I was doing in a test world, so don't worry about that. I kitted myself up with a full um, set of iron gear. And as you can see, I have lots of emeralds. I got I got a few diamonds, and I know what I'm going to use those three diamonds for. Now, there is a very popular YouTuber out there who um, who likes to make uh, square houses, uh, nine by nines to be specific. They are incredible and really, really good, helpful, useful, and whatever. However. You can't just copy a man, so, um, in this world, so you need to be able to come up with your own design. And I have made a waypoint, and I've called it Skelly, Skelly Spawner Nia, because I found it, ran into it, complete mistake, and, uh, sprinted out the other direction again. Ran for a bit, because there was way too many, ske too many skeletons, uh, for me to deal with at that point. I don't know why you would ever think I'd want you to go upside down like that. So no. So no, I've done some good mining. And so yeah, so let's just get started. Now, we need a lot more space before we can do um, stuff. So what my plan is to do is to, well, just end up making a big tower in here somewhere. Nope, again. Why are you going upside down? Is it the way I'm placing you or something? No. So it works there. Okay, let's try placing a bit sort of cobblestone there. Move, you stupid person, a thing. Um, t t certificate person. There we go. And then I need to get rid of you as well, don't I? Uh, I shall place a bit of cobblestone there. Now let's just quickly go back down and remove those pieces of cobble. Good, that's the end of that that pickaxe. Nice. So my plan is is let's start off by getting rid of all these Half stone slabs, these gotta be, haven't they? Yep, stone slabs. As we need a lot of space. To start on some of the mods. Now, for starters, we don't, we need more space. Um, I've just said that, I didn't mean to say that. For starters, we need more, uh, storage space, specifically. So, um, we have loads of cobblestone. My plan is to make my buildings a bit sort of higgle higgledy piggledy, you know. Um, two, one, two, one, one there. Um, mm, something like that, I think. Um, getting a bit of lag for myself, but I can deal with that. Uh, two, one, two, whoops, fell down the hole. So, um, 
Yes, today we need to be getting more out of each dust we make. So, um, sorry, didn't mean to say that. We need to be making, getting, um, more stuff for what we're putting in, really, is what I'm going to, is pretty much it. I'm going to just, just have to, actually, no, I'm not going to hope, I'm not going to sit here and hope. Um, what would stop them? That would stop them. So, the way we can do this is we can do this with IC2, Industrial Craft 2, um, macerating, and we get dusts from that. Or, the way we're going to be doing it is by, um, oh, oh I forgot, I don't know the name of the mod, guys. Um, I've forgotten the name of the mod, but we're going to be doing it with pulverizers and um, electric furnaces. As that uses build craft power, and and that can be really useful. That can be used to our advantage, really. One more up, I think. Oh. <coughs> Okay, so we need some more cobblestone already. Right then, so, um, to start with, we're going to just be making, I think, um, um, we're just going to be making a room for some chests, which won't be the um, end uh, place for chests, I think. However, this this room I'm now making here is going to be, I think, I'm going to make it the end place. By the end place, I mean the place where I'll always, um, that I'll use for all way for my machines. End place meaning, sorry, the final place, you know. They probably won't get moved about much more than this. So... Let's just finish that up. Now then I need to make sure I place some torches down and get rid of these blocks. Let's just place something there, there and there. There we go. Let's get some torches. Which I don't have any of. Right then, so we need a bit more wood. I'm sure I can get some more of that. So there is a skelly spawner there, and I have no clue what's in it. So my plan is is to record two episodes today. So um, when it says next time, at the end, it will actually show what, what's coming up next time. So what I'm planning on... So I think this episode we're going to concentrate on um, the pulverizers and that. What about... I'm going to say I've been going for about five minutes. Yeah, we'll go with that. I should have really checked the time to start with. However, I didn't, so you could end up with a shorter episode, so if that happens. However, I want to make sure that I finish off all pulverizing and um, powered furnace. We're going to have plenty. We're not going to have enough time to do all this in one episode, I don't think. So, it's going to be a good episode, trying to fit it all in. So, as you can see, I went outside over here and um, got myself the potatoes and carrots. To eat as uh, food can become a bit of a problem. Right then, so we now have a bit more wood, don't we? So we're gonna want some more anyway, so there's no point not splashing out on a bit of stuff. There we go. Come on. There we go. And we can chuck some stuff in here, hopefully. Uh, okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. Right then, so, um... Ain't no one got time for the... Ain't no one got time for the... Okay, so let's knock out that one. Okay, and then put another one in here, I think. Okay, so these are going to be windows in the end. Um, 
However, that's a good point. We need some glass at some point during today's episode anyway, and I haven't got any. So, let's go get some glass. Now, the aim of today's episode is to make it so we um, will always have a way of... Whenever we mine an ore, well, the majority of ores can be something called pulverized. Pulverized means that it will get... You have to put it in a machine, and what that will do is that, that will um, give you a two of whatever that, that ore is uh, as, as a dust. However, all you then have to do is put that in any furnace. We're going to be trying. We're going to be using a powered furnace to do this. Um, and using a powered furnace, it will then make two. Um, for example, gold. It'll make one gold. Um, gold ore will in the end make one. Well, sorry, make two gold ingots. So you get a hundred percent. Um, you get a hundred percent profit effectively out of it. You get 100% more. Yes, you, you get 100% more. More gold per per um or so um now we've got some glass. We are going to need this and get some uh, coal. Knew I had coal for a reason. Um, before we do that, we need to be making sure we use it as efficiently um efficient as efficiently as a, as possible. So, let's start off with the pulverizer. We're going to make sure we cook up everything for this at once. So that's one piece of iron needs to be cooked up. Uh, for the machine frame, we need four more. We're going to eventually need to make two machine frames. So, one, two, three, four. However, we need everything we make, we want to make through the... We need to make the pulverizer first, though. So that's one piece of gold for you and another piece of gold, if I remember for the machine frame and the redstone reception core. We need two pieces of copper. <gasps> no! Oh, I thought I had everything. I thought I had everything. There's no chance of doing everything this episode now. Oh well. We're just gonna have to find some copper and then push quite a lo lot of it back till. Um, there may be some copper in the skeleton spawner. Is what I'm going to tell myself. So what we're going to do is, so there is some excitement this episode. Uh, do we have anything? Well, we don't need dirt in there, so we, but we could do with keeping the sand. Um, anything else going to fit in there? Nope. Right then, we have plenty of rubies. So we're going to make a sword with rubies. And you can't make ruby armor, which would be pretty cool. So I found out, so I realised that the cave system underneath me is huge, really huge, and i honestly slightly surprised it took me as long as it did to find a skeleton spawner. Now the way I deal with skeleton spawners is run in, place as much light down as possible, uh, run out. As you can see there's lots of lava and I have a bit of lag for me, I don't know if you guys can see the lag. Um, so, uh, yeah, lag makes it much more interesting, running around lava. Um, I can't... Now then, can I remember how I got there? I must have been up here. Yes, I remember where I am. It's above me now. Well, it's over there somewhere. There. The actual skeleton spawner. Oh my god, there's a slime! Apparently, I can see quite a few slime around here. Something's going... And I don't know what it is or what's causing it. That's one large slime. And as you can see, my sword is quickly clearing them off. Right then, so it was around about here, yes, where I marked the near skelly spawner stage. And uh, through here... Uh. 
It's like up here somewhere. Now I'm just going to run into it as I know I can. Yeah, I found it. Inevitably, I'm going to get hit by at least a skeleton. Yeah, must do. There we go. You're going to die, and then you're going to die. Die. I got you. I got them. Skeleton spawner, mine. Oh, and I'm going to like this. I like that. I like that stuff. We'll get into what that is later. Not, not this episode, nowhere near this episode. So we have some silver, bucket, um, uh, a, logic ma a logic matrix programmer, a steel helmet, um, some sapphire, rubies, tin, string, bread. No copper. Right then, so what I'm now going to do is press M and go to waypoints and go delete you for starters. And go new waypoint, um, scaly spawner. Right then, so, um, if my memory serves me correctly, and I think it's down there, I can't even remember anymore, already forgotten where I came from, it must have been from down here, mustn't it? And I used up all my torches doing it, um, no, I didn't come from down here, around here maybe? Yes, here we go. Right then, so, um, copper you can only get from... From higher, sort of, um, veins as such. So, what I'm planning or thinking I might try and do here is, I mean... I mean, I did get some good stuff from that, but I mean, nothing which I'd cry if I lost, because I know I can get it back quite easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to head all the way back. To the, um... To the, the what, the, the, what's we call it, the, um, stairway, our stairway. And then, um, our stairway tunnel digging hole thing, this thing. And we'll go up to about Y level 30, I think, we'll try to stop at. No, we're going to go higher than that. High, much higher than that. About 64 is about ground level. We'll go about 40, 50. We'll go 50. Right then, so about here I'm going to start just... Apparently there's a vein either right be below me or right above me. There we go. Um, nothing over here, is that? Anything over here? Nope. Okay then. So, um, what might actually be an idea? No, that isn't going to work at all, is it? Um. So I need to find some. Um. Mm, copper, and I have no. Um. No thingy. Ah. Oh, ah. Blah. 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 Blah, 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 blah. I have no torches. So let's go grab some torches. And then we'll come back. Mm. Might as well get the, ex the experience after killing him. By the way... There's a certain villager which I don't want to die, so I trapped in here. As most of the villagers will start dying off by themselves, pretty much. So, uh, let's get back into our base. Just make sure no mobs can make it into here. Nope. 
Everything looks fine up there. And then go to sleep. Right then, so we need to make some torches. That's what well that's why I came up, wasn't it? Um We're gonna need to be mega efficient with our coal after this. Just give me one second and I'll search online actually. What is um is the best um Y level for um Copper. Feed the beast. Why level for copper and tin ores? Copper and tin ores are pretty rare where, where I mine. What why levels do they spawn? If you get if you go to the feed the beast folder and look at the configs for thermal expansion and from mine it says copper at forty to seventy five and tin at twenty to fifty five. Oh I know I know where we can look. I know where we can look. Just remember where we can look. Um, there's the one over here, isn't there? You're perfect. And I think that even it's even at the right height, isn't it? Ow. Hide for a second. Three, two, one. Oh crap. Shall we? Shall we? No, let's not, let's not. Oh, we should have got him. Um, yeah, we have enough health. He disappeared, where is he? Okay, it's showing an enderman over there somewhere and he's just teleported even further away. Alright, so I'm safe from that. Um. Why is there so many mobs at this Y level? I found copper, I found copper, I found copper, I found copper. There we go. Three. Four. Oh, I'll have to explore this cave off camera. As um, it looks like it has some good stuff in it. Like I could redo really some more copper. However, I think I might be able to make a pulverizer today. Why won't you just go to my damn? Oh, my mouse wheel is going to be the death of me. Literally, I almost died because of it. But then there's so there's a little bit more copper here. I'm going to risk it. Okay, and then I'm just going to head back now. Don't know where this brings me, but it's good enough for me. Oh, of course, that's our new base, isn't it? <laughs> Forgot I'd done that. Uh, silly of me. Right then, so we are back at base. I'm going to grab some food. More carrots. Carrots are good. Of course, I got a lot because I went down there, didn't I? Right then, so uh, let's start with the pulverizer. Now, to do this, we're getting to need. Um, let's chuck all our ores and as much as the stuff in here as we can. Um, it doesn't look like much else is going, really. Okay, so let's just sort all that. Right then, so we need four pieces of iron for the frame, but we need one more for the piston. We need two pieces of gold for the conduction coil and the frame thing. We need four pieces of glass. Um, and we need two pieces of copper. Right then, so we need to do this as efficiently as possible. As, as, you, can, as you can see, we, we don't have much coal. So one piece of coal will give us eight, five, six, seven... Okay.
We'll keep an eye on this one as the moment that it finishes, we'll chuck something else in here. Oh, but I put more than four in here, didn't I? I put five in here. Oh. Two left in this, and there's three left in here. Okay, so this one's going to be the first one to finish. Come on. And then the moment it goes in, left click, uh, right, and then left click again over there. Ready? And now there we go so i won't get i won't get the whole um eight out of this however i should be able to get the last two of each out of this ooh the excitement Actually, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to say, if you want to see what a pulverizer does, yeah, if you want to see what a pulverizer does, um, join us for next episode. So, um, I'm going to have to come up with something else to do next episode as well, and I haven't thought of that yet. So, um, we shall be building a pulverizer with this stuff here, and some wood, and some cobblestone. So, if you want to see what that does, and um, how awesome it is, Please don't forget to look at, don't forget, um, the next episode shall be up tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to make sure that you see the next video. And to leave it a like to show your appreciation. And leave a comment if you um, feel like, you know, there's something you want to mention. Also, this is a multiplayer map and you may notice nobody else is on it. There will be one other person definitely joining me whenever he can. However, I am always looking for other people to join. People who send me can I join requests over comments. You may think I'm just ignoring you. What I do is I go to your videos and I think that I'm probably it probably wouldn't work out. So, if you want to join the server, you have to have some videos uploaded. You can make a special one just for me. You know, make it private, send me the link only in the inbox or something. However, um yeah, you can you can't um you definitely won't be able to join the server if you've never uploaded a YouTube video. Okay, if you've uploaded a YouTube video, leave a comment in the section below, comment in the comments below. I shall see it, and I shall read it, and I shall look at your, your um, YouTube channel to see if it's any good. If it is good, I will reply. If I don't think it will work, I just uh, won't reply. Don't take it personally. Right then, so, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode.